Before we begin our presentation, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge you, the community, for your unwavering support and enthusiasm. You're the reason we've awakened the spirits. Love you! Please welcome the Midsummer Stream Executive Team. Co-founder and Executive Director, David Marklin. Co-founder and Executive Producer, Gary Baker. Co-founder and Supervising Producer, Claire Dunlap. And Co-founder and Creative Director, Rick West. Hey everyone, we, thanks for indulging us, giving us a few uh, minutes of your time. We did uh, really want to thank you for coming out and making this event happen. It's a very last second thing. We put it together in two months thinking that we couldn't do anything at all this summer. So thank you for coming out so much. And if you can, if you see anybody else wearing an orange shirt, please thank them. That those are the, This is our crew that makes this entire event happen. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing to see all of your faces. We'll sort of see all of your faces out there. But I can see it's such a great house. You guys have been such a tremendous group of people. We are so excited that we could get all these people together. Thank you for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you to the White Bats, who are the life's blood of this event. And you guys are all so awesome. Thank you. Yeah. What are you, throwing it to me? <laughs> um, again, thank you all for coming out. Uh, David and I got together at Denny's, of all places, uh, <laughs> when the COVID restrictions went down. And I said to David, I really think we need to do something in the way of a convention to thank all of you, the Halloween community, who has supported us for so many years with this event. So uh, we put our heads together, and in about a month, I think we said, let's do it. So thank you, thank you again. Yeah. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah. And, and look, before you go in, sorry, I also want to thank the Pasadena Convention Center because really the hardest part was finding some place to do it. They, as you can see, it's a gorgeous place. They really stepped up. They, were really, they knew what we wanted to do, and they, they honestly, they bumped somebody else to make sure we could do this event, so. And hopefully none of them are here right now. <laughs> this is a hell of a thing. Hello, everybody. We, uh, we've missed you. It's emotional. Um, we missed you guys, and we are here because you are here. You've never gone anywhere, and this is a huge step in the right direction. Yeah. The next stepping stone is in December. We will see you for season screamings. And then next summer we board the mothership in Long Beach. For our fifth anniversary midsummer scream show. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We love you guys and uh, we would not be here literally without each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks also for season streamings. If y'all didn't see it on social media, there is a special code hidden somewhere around on the show floor, actually in the lobby area, so you can purchase your season streaming tickets today with no ticket fees. But you gotta find the code. <laughs> The Thanks. secret code is bomb. Sorry, the secret code is humbug. All capitals. <laughs> we have a packed room. We're getting ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Thank you once again, and enjoy the panel. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed our week-long coverage of Awaken the Spirits. We had an amazing time at the convention, saw so many of our friends, 
uh, so many great fans came up to us and uh, took some pictures and just said hi and and whatnot. So many great uh, scare actors that we've interviewed in the past. We we talked to, we ran into. It was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of great cosplays. Uh, great celebrities that were there. Um, and we are just uh, recovering from that uh, weekend. Uh, although it is a lot of fun, it is also very uh, tiring for jumping to panel to panel, but we love doing it because uh, we love finding out what's coming to the Soka Haunts this year. Sammy, what did you think about Awaken the Spirits this last weekend? I thought it was an absolute great time. Thank you to all of the creative team at Midsummer for putting on such a great event in such a short time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you to the Pasadena Convention Center for hosting. Um, they were, I think they did a great job of hosting. They did a great job of wine management, making you feel comfortable throughout. Right. Because obviously we know that uh, uh, the Roni, uh, Baroni, Tony is still on the line and is still out there. Um, and I don't know if so I want to be associated with that virus. I don't I, You know, it's followed to the I. It's not followed to the Y. It's a different, it's a different one. <laughs> um, uh, so... I thought it was a good time. Um, I really thought the Phantom VIP was well worth it. Got to get in there early and got to really enjoy the show floor. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that they had two different floors. Um, and so, I mean, I can't say enough great things. The panels were absolutely great. I mean, the only complaint I would have is, you know, watch the skeleton intro for like the 50th time. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Um, Our boy uh, AJ made a nice little TikTok about it. <laughs> yeah, um, but otherwise, like I said, it was a really good time. It was good to see the community. It was great to see so many faces in person. Yeah. Um, and you know, it was like it was just it was nice to hang out with Tony too. Yeah, it's always a great um, time, man. Uh, we 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 were fortunate enough to only be about twenty minutes up the freeway, the two ten freeway from the event. Um, so it was smooth driving, uh, going in, coming back. Um, <laughs> we were dead zombies by the end of every night, but we had enough energy to get up the next day and, and do the next day. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I want to give a, a, a real special thank you. If you guys, obviously in the beginning of this video, we, we put out the thank you message that the Midsummer Scream team uh, did at the uh, beginning of the Horror Nights panel. Um, yeah. And... You know, it's going back to uh, when we had Rick on the show uh, a few months ago, you know, talking about the event. Um, you know, we, we, we brought up the fact that that's one of our favorite things at Midsummer Scream every year is to see uh, the team come out in the beginning of the show, at the end of the show, to just thank everyone, the fans and everything. And, and the big thing they kept saying was, you know, none of this is possible without you guys. You know, we thank you guys, the fans, for coming out and supporting us. In reality, though... As much as that is true, we thank the Midsummer Scream team because uh, if it wasn't for them with their amazing ideas to bring conventions like this to life, uh, we'd have no place to go to 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 get together to discover what's coming to the new uh, what's coming new for this the haunt season, uh, whether it be home haunts or the um, the theme park haunts. We 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 love conventions like this, you know. I mean, I always tell Sammy uh, and and I told Rick West this. This is essentially the Comic Con of horror and haunt conventions. Um, this is the place you go. Pretty much the main stage is Hall H. This is where we come to find out what's coming to the haunts. And uh, it was a very emotional weekend. Um, just to see everyone. It's been the first time since I've seen a lot of people that were there since 2019. Um, and, you know, we had some friends we saw last season, and it's been the first time since I've seen them since last season. Uh, we had a lot of family and friends that were with us uh, that we see on a regular basis. Um, but for Sammy, you know, we've been hanging out with the Queen Mary Sliders a lot. This was actually his first in-person, like, interaction with a lot of the team. Um, as you guys know, uh, you know, we go to a lot of the practices. We hang out with them a lot and stuff, but... This was Sammy's first introduction to them, so this was a big deal for Sammy too. So to, to finally get to meet them in person, um, as Thomas said uh, on the weekend uh, from TLEV, that uh, fuck does Anthony know, know know a lot of people, and that is true because I think about every five minutes we were getting stopped by someone, right, Sammy? Well, I mean, no, and I I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> you I'm are Knights of Horror, bro. Anyone who knows you, when they talk to me, they ask, "Where the hell are you?" So. 
you can't miss me, bro. I'm a fucking wall walking <laughs> through everywhere. But it, it was just good to, to talk with people, um, you know, to hear a lot of the home haunts from last year who we owe it to them because they they gave us a, a, a haunt season. Um, yeah. To see what they're going to be doing this year was a lot of fun. To catch up yep. with a lot of them was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, to hang out with uh, our boy Jeremy and 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 Scott Dieterman. Uh, that was the a lot legend. Of fun. That, uh, I didn't say it, Scott. I'm just saying, letting you know. So, um, but to hang out with them, uh, that was the first time we actually got to really hang out with Jeremy. The first time we ever met was at Honex, and it was very briefly. But um, to actually hang out with uh, Jeremy for a little bit after having him on the show just not too long ago was really cool. Um, you know, TLEV was with us all weekend and all the panels. We were all kind of, it was, you know, me, uh, Sammy, TLEV, uh, Rob, and, and of course, John from the haunt line. Um, we are not worthy. <laughs> uh, it was cool to finally meet, uh, Josue's son, Miles. Um, I, I had seen, uh, him over Zoom many times and and seen a lot of pictures, but it was finally nice to meet Miles in person. Uh, that was a, a good highlight of the weekend. Um, Omni Adventures was there. Uh, big shout out to Omni Adventures, man. They they edited actually tomorrow's video, um, so shout out to them because they did a fucking amazing job with that knots video. Absolute banger, banger. So tune in tomorrow for uh, the maze announcement. Um, but to see them was awesome. It's always a pleasure seeing them. Um, a lot of our scare actor friends that came up to us and said hi. Uh, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, it was just so many people and, and just a great time. But, you know, the vendors, they, they had a lot of goodies to sell, um, a lot of great stuff. If I could have bought it all, I would have. But, uh, unfortunately, I blew all my money meeting the uh, entire, not the entire, but whoever was there, the Resident Evil uh, voice actresses and motion capture uh, actresses yeah. as well. Um, and yeah. that was one of the big highlights of my weekend, too. Yeah, uh, Tony was a kid at a candy store. There. I really was. He's like, was. I you, have you, money. Take you, my money. You probably please. saw it in the vlog. Rob was actually fortunate enough. I was fortunate enough to have Rob film my interactions with all three of them. So that was a lot of fun. He said, please take my money. Please. Well, okay. I'll uh, give you all of it. Whatever you want. Just sign So I spent, I, I, there was three of them. I spent $50 each on autograph print. Why wouldn't I? That's one of my favorite game franchises. If anyone knows me, I love Resident Evil. Especially Resident yeah. Evil Village was a lot of fun. Um, and, and not only just meeting them, but, you know, getting to talk with them, like uh, we were fortunate enough to, uh, with, with the VIP and everything, uh, we got in like an hour or two before the actual show floor opened to the general admission. So, uh, I had that time to actually talk with them before they were kind of bombarded by everyone else. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. I got to get a little bit more behind the scenes of, of how they made the games and, and to fanboy out with them, especially them being fans of the franchise as well. To hear a lot of them are starting their own Twitch pages just so they can play the game and, and play against their characters and, and see their characters is is really cool to hear. Um, but just seeing the panel, too, to hear a lot of their behind-the-scenes yeah. stories was a lot of fun, too. Um, it was an emotional panel, too. It really was. There, there was a lot of emotions in that one as well. But um, it was, And um, I forgot the guy who hosted the panel. He did such a great job. Did a great job, yeah. Um, I, I always look at those guys and, and, and say, like, one day I, I want to be a moderator for a panel. One day. That'd yeah, bro, but you wouldn't let anyone else talk if you were up here. You talk for like I six hours. I would hold it back because I know it's a panel instead of a podcast. Okay, relax there, buddy. I I would just ask the questions. Okay, um, God, I'm I'm just trying to rally you up. I I think the biggest highlight for me, at least, and and Sammy will tell about his highlights right now. But the biggest highlight this weekend for me was getting the opportunity to uh, finally interview John Murdy. Uh, it's been something on my bucket list uh, since starting this channel to do. And through the power of SoCal Exploring, I actually was able to do that. And uh, Rob did an amazing job filming that, made sure the audio was crisp. Uh, and from what everyone has told me, that the interview came out awesome. Uh, I was really nervous doing that interview, and I thought I did a worse job. And then after watching it, I was like, I didn't sound as bad as I thought I did in my head. Um, so that, that was good. It sounded dude. a hell of a lot worse. I'm just kidding. Yeah. In my head, it sounded worse, dude. But like when I rewatched it, I was like, wow, this is, this, this came out really good. I'm glad it, that it got good for uh, footage for Scott, but that was a big highlight of my weekend to interview John Murdy. And of course I cannot forget the interactions we had with John cook, man. I mean, you know, you talk about the cookbook a lot on this show yes. and to have him kind of say hi to us and, and just to see him in person, man. It's like, 
like we we're not, not worthy, worthy, dude. It's like we're it, not it, worthy. It, it's like seeing Ozzy Osbourne in concert, dude. It's just it's it's unreal. So yeah. What about your highlights, I, man? What'd you what you enjoy this weekend? Yeah, I really enjoyed using the restroom. It was a really good time. <laughs> Real nice restroom. There, past nice the AC, room. you know. No, no, the the AC. You need to be pumped up, except uh, on in the, the in the, <laughs> the show floor. show room. No, in the freaking uh, in the panel room. My God, you didn't, room, you didn't want to leave that area. It still felt no, so nice panel, in there. Panel room felt nice. Sammy could have took. A, uh, he actually did. He could have took a good I, nap in there. I, I mean, I was dozing a little bit. Um, you know, got you get tired. You gotta, you gotta take those quick two minute powers. A little power nap to get back up. Yeah, you know, what I mean, it's a long day, especially with Tony, man. <laughs> he everywhere. wants to be there at the butt crack of dawn, and he don't want to leave until the day, the next day, almost starts. I don't, I don't want to, I don't ever want to leave when those things go on, dude. The weekend goes. Yeah, you should have so seen fast. him. Should have seen him. We were walking to the car, and he's like, just about crying. Man, I'm so sad. This is over. I was. I I truly was. I'll I'll admit it. it it's it, it depression post convention depression. It's fucking hard because you have such a great time, make so many memories over the weekend, and then like that, it's over. And I'm just like, man, like that's it. Like, can we do one more day at least? Just one more. That's why I'm excited well, for Midsummer Scream three for sure, days. 2022. 2022. Three, three days, bro. <laughs> Preview yeah. night, and then the freaking the the actual show to go for the entire weekend with panels and everything should be a lot of fun. Yeah, Tony, you better save your money so we can stay at a hotel near there. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Well, uh, prior to the thing, I will, you know, if we did it early enough, I, I will have the money to do it. But if, if more Resident Evil people come, you know, my money's going to be pretty gone. So. Well, you look like you're sleeping uh, outside or in your car. I, like I said, leading up to it, I will, We, we that's booked pre, before the convention even happens. So we'll be okay. Because yes. uh, the less commute we have, the better. Yeah. Every but, uh, minute saved to export footage <laughs> is where, where it's at. Uh, but, but, but back to be uh, no, honestly, I think the highlight was just seeing everyone. It was so good to see John, to see Rob, to see all the boys at TLEV. Um, it, that was really good. Just to be there to the excitement as, as we, as the doors opened and uh, when we got to walk through Pandora's box and oh, yeah. even though it was just a little, ha. Ah, it was still like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? It's like these little jitters, especially when you're going in there. What are we going to get? It's like Rob said, that was just unlocking the damn lock, dude. Bro, we, we just even... put the key in, bro. We just put the key we in. We didn't even, we haven't even we didn't opened even move it, yet. it It's not even yeah, opened we... yet, bro. There was no movement. We just put the key in. Yeah. Uh, it was, That was good. I mean, the show floor was great. There was yeah. so much to offer. Yes. Um, Like you said, I wish I had more money uh, yeah. to buy everything. And also, I wish I didn't have to fly, so... You know, I have to obviously keep my my buying to a minimum. Uh, but the panels were super great. It was I, I loved that. You know, I know Rick. I, I'm pretty sure Rick had a, a pretty solid hand in this. I love that both days we got to, sh- to show off the home hunt because, like, like as we we mentioned time and time again, 2020 could not happen without the home hunts. Yeah. Um. And so we got to continue to show them love in 2021. Um, so it was great to hear from like Pirates Cave or uh, um, Corona, Corona Hunt, yeah. Hunt um, Direct Society, the Direct Tunnel Society, of Terror. Tunnel of Terror. There's so many great things. Yeah. Um, to hear. I mean, I know great my Phantom, bro. Great Phantom. I know. We're up in the walk, baby. Yeah, Norwalk Haunt right there. I got. I can't forget that one. That's literally right up the street from me. Yeah, definitely. That's my. That's my stomping grounds. Yeah. Um. So I mean, that was. It was just so good. Uh, there's, there's just so, I mean, we can talk and talk and talk about how great it was, but we don't want to. You probably have seen here. it all week on the channel. <laughs> we don't want to keep you here all night. Um, but I, I think that's it. I mean, I think like, like Tony said as well, we're just looking forward to 2022. Right. I mean, we're going to enjoy the haunt season. It's just beginning. Well, no, we have something coming up in December. That's well, yeah, us a little haunt fix too. Yeah, well, it's giving you a haunt fix. I don't. Uh, that's still TBA for me. Um, oh yeah, you're still trying to figure that out. That's right. Yeah, season screaming. Season screamings. That's gonna be the next midsummer event, so don't miss it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a great, great. If you want to get your haunt Christmas fix? That's how you. And if you need to do some yeah. Christmas shopping, because it's the week before Christmas, so yeah, what better buy, place to do some you, Christmas shopping? Yeah, Tony's gonna buy me something that he just doesn't know yet. Yeah, I mean. Sammy no, he's Price. gonna 
Sammy, did, Sam, Sammy did promise me a Christmas or a, a birthday gift, and I and I never received that. So, well, whose fault is that? I, it wasn't mine. <laughs> I told you, hey, buddy, let's get it. It was a poster. I don't even know where I would hang it up, though. Like, I don't have any room to hang up any more posters. Bro, and then every time, bro, we were walking through the floor. Hey, bro, you see something you like, let me know. I didn't know. Okay, to be fair, though, I didn't know what the price range was. So I was like, everything I wanted was probably... Everything that I saw after we had went back to go look at that was either 50 or over. And I was like, that's too much. I don't want him to spend that much. So that's why I yeah. never said anything. I mean, I'm just saying, if you want to give me a, you know, the Misfits mask, uh, not that one, but like the actual like rubber one. Well, it's not a, I, I, I your, uh, your gift has, your, has expired for the season. That's fucked. Okay. Well, I also just dropped like $600 in my bank account. Uh, anyway, Midsummer Scream, thank you so much for putting on a fantastic event. Another great one in the books. Uh, it's events like these that brings the community together. And we love you guys for putting on events like these. And I know you guys always say, if it wasn't for us, these events wouldn't happen. But in reality, it, that is true. But in reality, um, if it wasn't for amazing, talented minds like your guys is to come up with such an idea, uh, we, we would have no event to go to. So uh, we really appreciate you guys putting on this event. Uh, we look forward to season screamings. We look forward to Midsummer Scream 2022. We cannot wait to go back and hang out with everyone. But until then, we just got to wait. So, Sammy, hit him with the, in the outro. All right. If you like this video, drop a like below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the notification bell. Ha <laughs> You thought I was going to whisper it on up. No, you're going to go uh, ASMR all the way. Oh, should I ASMR go back? No. All right. And if you want to see us... Um, on Twitter, hit us up at Knights of War. And if you want to see us on Instagram, hit us up at The Knights of War. It's been a pleasure, and we hope to see you in the next video. Gang, gang.